All right. I don't know what this does. Oh, boost reload. All right, that makes sense. So, speed cola, obviously. Remastered. Not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing, but... Uh, I can't buy these doors. Hmm. No, it's just scripted. Alright. So, it's like Outbreak, except you don't go to different worlds, you just go to, like, buildings. <laughs> like, baby mode Outbreak, I guess? I don't know. Maybe I should look around a bit before I uh, go to the next one, but... Oh, this was the sin here. Okay. I don't have any rune stones. Oh, that looks like a rune stone if I've ever seen one. Let's do it. Alright. Oh. I like how close this area is. It's like somewhat scary at least. The zombies aren't going crazy, but they're still kind of a oppressive presence. Did it. Oh, I also have hearts to spend, whatever that does. Oh, good idea, whatever you guys, your name is. I feel like keeping it tight like this, whatever this, like, building teleportation mechanic is, is definitely gonna have more of a an atmospheric, thematic impact on zombies, more so than, uh, than Outbreak did. Oh, this is just the same thing I did, but it's harder. Good, because I almost died there, so, you know, this will be easy. Alright, oh, that looks like a explosive remnant. Oh, this is Shinonuma! How did I not realize that? Oh, it's bad. Where's the jug? I wonder if the different pieces of the uh, map from Stalingrad also have the ability to give you to different areas, one of which probably has Juggernaut. I wonder what that other map was, if I knew it. It might have been uh, something from Black Ops 2 that I haven't played, but I mean, this is definitely Shino. It's always nice having a familiar map so you can actually understand where different train areas are and where safety is, even if it is just sort of reusing old content. I'm fine with that. I encourage that means more game in the long run. Oh. Mm. Okay, power move. Alright, try that. That's the way to go. Oh, okay. Seems like I filled this area out. Now we actually have an overworld that is... Alright. Did I lose... <laughs> Back a bunch? No. Maybe these are one-off zombies. Fucking strong. Let's get a pack a bunch. Oh. Oh, that feels cool. I haven't seen Juggernaut yet, so I feel like I've gone all the maps in this original area, so you probably can't get Juggernaut early on. Which is kind of good. Makes the beginning scary. Take it. <laughs> what? That's how you hold this. I thought it was a glitch the first time. Oh, was that Juggernaut? Yes. I hope that counted. <laughs> Be fucked up. Duck it. Oh, that's cool. I didn't see the uh, little rune thing before. I'm definitely going to say, I know it's early on to say, but I like this a lot more than Outbreak. Like, Outbreak was fun, but it, it was fun because it was super casual. And you didn't really have to think much, you just kind of played it. This is a lot more like classic zombies, where you actually have to focus and play. I like whatever this is, let's see. Okay, we're back in Shinonuma. 
This <laughs> is so stupid. What the fuck is this? Okay, I'm gonna speak too soon on this. But I like not having the weapon tiers. I feel like that shit was redundant. Oh, okay, easy. Is that it? Really? <laughs> okay. I have to kill shit. What's up, Stormin? Oh, okay, he shoots. That's fucked up. Alright, he's not that strong, though. I'm sure that gets a lot more scary later on. I didn't even think to make armor. So there's no armor station. There's just the armor and workshop. That's interesting. Oh, you could just make symbol monkeys. Just expensive. And the self revise Incredibly expensive. Alright. Let me do another box. Oh, there is. Okay, I'm dumb. There is weapon tier. But I did just see a fucking ray gun, so maybe we blow some loads on this box. Ooh, I'm gonna upgrade this if I, when I am not broke. Well. Oh, it's already upgraded? Holy shit, that's fucked up. Which makes me wonder, is this thing upgraded? Maybe it's blue because it is upgraded? Oh yeah, this one's Pack-a-Punch too. Okay, well, I like this one better. So I was probably right where the quality of the gun is tied to the Pack-a-Punch. Uh, okay, I like that a lot better. That's way more streamlined. This gun feels clean. This feels like the old PPSH. One thing I really don't like about the current zombie style is like the nades and stuff. Like you have to actually pick them up. It's like generally too much chaos to go and decide which nades you want in the middle of the thing. I wish you could like just choose a loadout and even if you're out, it'll just auto pick it up. Or like the last grenade you used, it'll have like a a temporary fake empty slot that it would like automatically fill when you see is that a symbol monkey oh fuck yeah let me see oh shit this is <laughs> it just bounces off all right oh see what i threw my knife i didn't pick it back up but now i have two knives so maybe maybe hmm I don't know. maybe it does what i was saying but i didn't notice it yet see these random zombies that spawn are kind of lame though like i wish it was more of you just come back here and you spawn into a wave of like legit zombies that are coming at you, not just like sprinkled around and you finish the wave and then do your upgrades. I don't know if like people like the the bonus points power up. Like obviously it's good, it's good, it's nice to get, but I just feel like it's super boring. It's just like double points except free. You know, you don't have to play. Oh shit, Max! Okay, that's a really cool power up. I like that one a lot. That seems like something that was necessary. So... I'm gonna try throwing all my knives and see what happens. What? Do you get a knife back for every kill you get? Or did, oh, is that a perk I have? I didn't even realize. Alright, does no damage to armor. And then I can just like pick them back up. What is that? That's so weird. Pretty good at this one. Not to brag, but my head game on point. I don't really understand what the mechanic is with these knives. I didn't even check out the altar after the or before this. It's not a consistent amount of tension in this. Like it's too quickly in and out of a reasonable good fight to just like chilling in the hub world for <laughs> super casually. Let me try the monkey bomb. Okay, those are pretty good. And I still have two. <gasps> oh, I have... I have an ability that... I didn't realize knives counted as equipment. I thought that meant just like... You know, it's the tactical ones. But yeah, I guess that makes sense. All my shit has a chance to not be used when I use it. Pretty powerful. Makes the throwing knives kind of OP. Look at this. Okay, they're not one-shots anymore. Less OP. 
but then I can just pick them back up. Have a full stack again. Again, definitely works better <laughs> when they want it. Full well, Malax armor, that's awesome. I wonder if the uh, explosion zombies are weaker and if I can one hit them with the. Yeah, there, that's. That's the play. So every time it's blue, that's when it procs, I guess. Let's get the X build. Oh, wait, let me. Symbol monkey. Oh, I didn't even use it. Take out this guy if I can. Got another one. And again, dude, this perk is insanely good. And another free. This perk is got to. <laughs> I just keep throwing them and let the monkey do the work. Another freebie. What is this? <laughs> another freebie. This needs to balance. Another freebie. Another freebie. Am I missing something, or is this always going to happen? Oh, okay, I gotta get to the portal. Why does it just always go... Ooh. See ya, assholes. Alright, well, that was pretty fun. I think it's a step in the right direction from... Uh, outbreak, but we'll see where they go with it. It's kind of basic as it is now.